Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, I hope you're doing well out there. My name's Wes, I am the Atlantean guitarist, and today I'm very proud to do a video review on my latest guitar, this is Brutus. And Brutus is made by Crema Customs, a small one-man show, a luthier called Ray, from St. Hostel in Cornwall, I believe that's the area, in the Luthier's Loft, which is the name of his workshop. Now, this particular guitar, I was troweling the internet, looking for a new guitar, like all us guitarists do, and I just suddenly stopped when this one came up on my feet. Now, I am a lover of Relic guitars, so when I saw this, it was love it for a sight I had to have it it was just one of those rare things i haven't had that in years you know so i contacted ray and uh went from there and here we are brand new guitar now to go through the specs of this we have fender tex mex wiring harness inside as well as the pickups the body is an american ash body we've got obviously relic parts he's done a fantastic job on the relic in here i'll put up some b-roll footage things like that so you can see it more in depth we've got vance in locking tuners on it we've got a bone nut we've got a maple neck with a roasted maple fretboard hence no skunk stripe on the back of the guitar but man this thing is a joy to play it feels like an old guitar now, I know Relic guitars are like Marmite for some people. You either love them or hate them. I love all guitars. So, you know, it's a bit of wood with six strings at the end of the day. And if you can play, you can play. You know, it doesn't matter. But the aesthetics of this, the, the way this looks, I couldn't say no. Anyway, Ray, if you're watching, thank you very much. I mean, this is a special guitar for me because... It isn't like this is off a production line. He only made, I think, two Telecasters like this, and one of them was a Macorber-looking one, you know? This is the only white relict one that he made, because on the on the neck plate on the back, you can't see it, but it's got a serial number, and it's got Ray's initials, I think, and it says 0002. So this is rare. This is the only guitar like it of its ilk now i know there's other white relic telecasters but this is handmade hand built hand finished it's mine there's no other like it and that's a great honor as a guitar player i think we all seek that type of special the one type guitar you know anyway i'm going to stop yabbering on and i'm going to give you a few basic tone tests we're going to start off with some clean We'll start off with the bridge position, probably my favourite position on a Telecaster. And I'll just play some few basic chords and you can get a gist of what it sounds like. Middle position. Neck position.
beautiful sounding guitar in my opinion now i'll rock it up a little bit and give you a bit more of a dirtier tone and we'll start with the bridge Go to the middle. Neck. I'm going to do a little jam for you, so I hope you enjoy it.
Now, I'm quite a new YouTube channel, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to grow and starting to do my guitar reviews. If you've liked what I've done so far and you think it's cool and you're a relic guitar lover or just a guitar lover, I sure would appreciate a subscribe, a like, and a nice comment from you. It's all free. It don't cost nothing apart from your time. I know time's valuable, but I certainly would appreciate it. And it's always great to meet new friends from the guitar community as well. Other like-minded souls, you know? The world's a miserable place as it is, so a little bit of sunshine we can give to each other, you know, makes the world go round just that little bit easier. So, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure showing Brutus off to you. Ray, if you're watching, thank you very much again, my friend. Superb job. Just to say, Ray doesn't really want me to advertise his services really too much. Um, he is an older gentleman. He's been in the Luffy again for 30 years, and he is trying to wind it down slightly. So, he, you know, it's not like I'm going to get thousands of views, but he doesn't want to be inundated with custom orders because he's just one man now if you really do love this guitar and want to reach out to ray to maybe build one or even do a, a custom relic job on an existing guitar um you can google him and you'll find he has a shop on reverb and he's on ebay as well and you're if you look deeper into that you will find his contact details but as a personal request, he has asked me, you know, don't advertise him too much, but by all means, give him a shout out and say who he is. So he's his name's Ray. The company who made his company is called Crema Customs. They're based in the Luthiers Loft in Cornwall, and that's Saint Austell in Cornwall in the UK. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care of each other out there. All the best, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.